Helsinki, Finland in November. It's pretty damn cold, I gotta tell you. There's a nice uh, tram moving along there. I'm just going for a little stroll here. I like uh, spending a few days in a city. Um, I especially like getting on a tourist bus. Um, like the first day that you get there. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that, um, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Tourist bus or a, you know, like a guided tour, it just gives you a really good outline of the city and its history. And then from there, you can go and start doing a little bit more exploring. Um, I'm doing it a different way this time because uh, I missed the tour today, unfortunately. I slept in, I was a little bit jet lagged because I flew in from uh, Los Angeles yesterday and I, my body clock was all a bit messed up. Uh, so I slept in a bit. Anyways, where's another tramp? Uh, the sun goes down here, or well, sorry, the sun gets up, not until like uh, 8.20 in the morning or something crazy like that. And then it goes down again at 3.50. So you have to like get out at this time of year in November and get as much sun as possible. Having said that, it's not really sunny, is it? Um, really important that you get some vitamin D into you. I've actually brought a vitamin D supplement with me here, knowing that the days are very short in November in the northern hemisphere. Um, it's an interesting street. So yeah, you want to... Uh, you want to make sure that you get out and, and uh, as early as possible once the sun gets up obviously and stay out because come four o'clock today it's going to be pitch black <laughs> and then apparently in December it's crazy like the way that the uh, where Helsinki in Finland is located in the northern hemisphere the sun ne never goes overhead it's always kind of like going at like a small arc and like it, it won't get up as people getting off the thing um, I think it doesn't get up to like 9.30 in the morning and then it goes down again at like 2 or something crazy. I've got to double, double check that, but needless to say, they don't get many, uh, there's not much sunlight. Having said that, in the summer here in Finland, um, it's like almost perpetual daytime. <laughs> it's hardly any nighttime because the sun is so close to the northern hemisphere and um, you know what I mean. <sighs> so, uh, so yeah, I'm going for a daytime walk now. You can see I'm rugged up. I went to the gym this morning. I found, just asked the hotel concierge where there was a gym and they directed me to a place. I went and did a legs workout. So I still managed to exercise even though I'm overseas and a little bit tired. Uh, I've managed to instill the, uh, I've managed to instill the, uh, the habit of, uh, of exercise. Not every day, but at least five times a week. Uh, and even though like you're in a different city and you've got to travel from your hotel to the gym if the hotel doesn't have a gym and it's a little bit inconvenient you can twist your mind or turn your mind into um, going oh this is fun this is a fun adventure of finding the gym and going into a new gym and exercising and just you know noticing that the the locals working out what are they doing that's quite interesting like it doesn't always have to be like quickly go out and see the tourist tourist sites. You can just do simple little things like go to a gym or go to a restaurant and just see how people talk to one another, see how people converse. Uh, and you can pick up little nuances that are very interesting about um, you know about the local people and their culture. So uh, so yeah, there you go. Just going for a, a stroll here in the downtown area of uh, Helsinki in Finland so I hope you enjoyed this little tour I'm gonna continue on the tour if you're watching this uh, for the first time there'll be little videos as I uh, continue on through uh, Estonia Lithuania Latvia and uh, Belarus but for now let's leave a comment down below or share this video thank you for watching and uh, check out the next video that's coming uh, on my travels here in uh, in Finland. See you on the next one.